700 rockets fired into Israel by Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad this weekend. What country in their right mind would choose not to respond to such brutal attack? Yet, when Israel did what anybody would do, what any country has a right to do, the left freaked out. Congressman Ilhan Omar and Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib actually blamed Israel for defending herself instead of blaming the terrorists who waged the attacks on Israel. So let me tell you what we're going to do tonight. We're going to show you how to determine who's right and who's wrong in the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Here we go. Who uses their children as human shields? That's right, the Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who drops pamphlets to warn civilians to evacuate? Israel. Who hides their rockets in schools and hospitals? The Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who gives medical care to wounded terrorists? Israel does. Who fires the first shot? Who escalates the conflict? The Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who only responds with self-defense? That's right, Israel. Who rejects every effort to make peace? The Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who is willing to make peace? Israel. Who calls for the complete destruction of Israel? Well, the Palestinian Authority and Hamas do. Who is willing to peacefully coexist? Israel. Who's eliminated nearly all Jews from their territory? The Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who allows people of all religions to enjoy equal rights? Israel. Who kills as many Jews as they possibly can and then pays the killer who wages the brutal attack? The Palestinian Authority and Hamas. Who sends humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people who are oppressed by the Palestinian Authority and Hamas? That's right, Israel does. And now let's talk about the pundits and politicians who are covering this conflict. And you can decide who's reporting the truth and who is reporting lies. It was reported that a Palestinian baby, a one-year-old, was killed by Israeli airstrikes in Gaza this weekend. But that report is false. The baby was killed, tragically, by a Palestinian rocket that fell short. Who originated this lie? Hamas officials did. Who echoed this lie? That's right, CNN did. Who ignores the fact that the Palestinian Authority and Hamas oppress their own people? Who ignores the fact that the Palestinian people are facing a humanitarian crisis because of the Palestinian Authority and Hamas and not because of Israel? The mainstream media and the left, that's who. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that Israel is right and the Palestinian Authority and Hamas are evil. And that's my final point.